For the following exercises, let capital F of X equals X plus one to the fifth, F of X equals X to the fifth, and G of X equals X plus one. And then we have two independent questions. So true or false, is G composed with F at X equals capital F of X? Okay, let's see. So we're asking a composite function question. The first thing is, is that I don't necessarily like this notation for composite functions. I always like to turn it into the parenthesis inside the parenthesis method because it's just easier to figure out what to plug in. So just know that the first letter that they give you for this composite function is always the outer function. The second one is always the inner function. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it easier for you guys. This would be the same thing as saying is G of F of X equal to capital F of X. True or false? Well, now let's start plugging in. So now we have to actually use our functions that are up here to plug in for this composite function. So remember, with composite functions, we always work from inner to outer. We are always going to plug in an input, it's usually a number, in for the inner function and solve. However, the inner function, the innermost parenthesis, is the f of x function, and the g function is the outer function. There's no number here, it's just x. So for the first part, let's see. We're going to find what g of f of x is. Then we're going to see, well, does it equal this function, or does it not equal this function? So for the first one, f of x is just this guy, right? f of x was just x to the fifth. Okay, now the second part to finding composite functions, you use that, you know, answer that you have as your new input that you just solved for, and you plug it into the outer function. So my outer function is the g function now, and what am I going to be plugging in? Oh, it's the answer from before. So I'm going to be plugging in x to the fifth. And now I go to my g of x function. Anytime that I see an x value, I'm going to be replacing it for this. So instead of just x plus 1, it's going to be x to the fifth plus 1. You're substituting your x value for what the answer was before. Okay, so now this is basically the same thing as saying g of f of x. And now we're ready to see if they're equal to each other. Does g of f of x equal the capital F function? Well, g of f of x was x to the fifth plus 1. The f function is this function, right? It's x plus 1 raised to the fifth. Does this equal or does this not equal? It does not equal. Good job. So this would be false. Literally, what's on the left-hand side and what's on the right-hand side is not exactly the same. This does not equal this. Now let's try it again. True or false? Is F composed with G at X equal to capital F of X? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out. And from what we talked about before, this would just be f of g of x. Does this equal capital F of x? Well, let's see. The first thing we got to do is we got to find what that composite function is. We got to find whoop, f of g of x. Work from inner to outer. Your inner function here is the g of f function. Your f function is your outer function. So. Number one, g of x was just x plus one. And now I use that answer to plug in for my outer function, which is the f function. So now this would be f of x plus one, which means that when I go to my f function, lowercase, I plug in x plus one for all of the x's that I see. So in this case, it would be x plus one raised to the fifth because there was only one x here and that's what you're plugging in for the x value and this would be the same thing as saying f of g of x so now when it comes down to it does f of g of x 
equal capital F of X? Well, the answer that we just got was whoop, over here, right? X plus 1 raised to the fifth. So is X plus 1 raised to the fifth equal, what was the capital F function? Oh, it was X plus 1 raised to the fifth. Does this equal or does this not equal? They look exactly the same, right? So they equal each other. This is true. And there you go. So as you can see here, we're using, you know, basically two functions to find two different composite functions. All we're doing is we're just switching the outer for the inner, but you get completely, totally different answers. One was x to the fifth plus one. The other one was x plus one, all raised to the fifth. So composite functions are independent from their parts. You'll get completely different answers most of the time, right? So guys, let me know what you think down below. Uh, if, you, if this video helped you out, click the like button. Tell your friends if they have, you know, math trouble. We got them. We got you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys all in the next video. And if you want to subscribe, hey, wouldn't help, right? Actually, wait, wouldn't hurt. <laughs> wouldn't hurt. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.